Get ready to explore California's craziest side with us. From singing sands to a haunted mansion, we're uncovering the top five weirdest places that'll blow your mind. Buckle up, it's going to be one weird ride. Imagine living in a house with secret passages, doors that open into walls and staircases leading nowhere. Sounds like something out of a movie, right? Well, this place is real and it's right in the heart of San Jose, California. So, who built this bizarre mansion? Her name was Sarah Winchester, the widow of William Wirt Winchester, the man behind the famous Winchester Rifles. After her husband's death, Sarah inherited a huge fortune, and that's where our story begins. Legend has it that Sarah visited a medium who told her that she was cursed by the spirits of all those who had been killed by Winchester Rifles. The only way to appease these spirits was to continuously build her house. And that's exactly what she did. For 38 years, construction on the house never stopped. Day and night, workers kept building, creating one of the most peculiar homes ever. The Winchester Mystery House has 160 rooms, including 40 bedrooms, two ballrooms, and even a seance room. But it's not just the number of rooms that's weird, it's the way they're arranged. There are staircases that climb up into the ceiling, doors that open to brick walls, and windows that look into other rooms. And the number 13 appears everywhere. In the number of windows in some rooms, the number of steps on the staircases, even the number of bathrooms. But why all the weirdness? Some say Sarah was trying to confuse the spirits, or maybe she was just expressing her grief and guilt through the house's endless construction. Others believe she was a genius, experimenting with architectural designs way ahead of her time. Despite its oddities, the Winchester Mystery House is also a place of beauty. It's filled with exquisite stained glass windows, some designed by Sarah herself, and beautiful handcrafted woodwork. Today, the Winchester Mystery House is a tourist attraction, and people from all over come to explore its mysterious corridors and rooms. Visitors often feel like they've stepped into a mystery novel, half expecting a ghost to appear around the next corner. So, what do you think? Was Sarah Winchester tormented by spirits? Or was she just a lonely widow pouring her immense wealth and grief into a never-ending project? Whatever the truth is, the Winchester Mystery House remains one of the most intriguing houses in America. Picture this. Vast, open landscapes filled with sand dunes that actually sing. Yeah, you heard that right. They sing. So, what's the deal with these musical dunes? Located in the expansive Mojave Desert, these aren't your average sand dunes. When the conditions are just right and you slide down them, these dunes produce a sound. But not just any sound. We're talking about a deep, rumbling note. Kind of like a low-pitched drone of a distant airplane, or some say, like the deep chords of a cello. This isn't a tiny squeak or a whisper. These dunes can be heard from miles away. Now, you might be wondering, how do these sands get their groove on? It's all about science. When the sand grains move, they create vibrations. These vibrations need to hit just the right frequency to create the singing sound. The sand needs to be perfectly dry, and the grains have to be of a certain size and shape. Plus, the dune itself acts like a natural amplifier. It's like each grain of sand is a tiny musician, and the dune is their concert hall. But here's the kicker. Not all sand dunes can sing. In fact, singing sand dunes are pretty rare. The Mojave Desert is one of the few places on Earth where you can witness this eerie yet fascinating phenomenon. What's even more intriguing is why these dunes choose to sing when they do. Scientists have been studying them for years and think it might have to do with the surface temperature and the moisture levels. But like many of nature's mysteries, there's still a lot we don't know. For adventurers and curious minds, the singing sands offer a unique experience. Imagine sliding down a dune, not just feeling the thrill of the descent, but also triggering an ancient, natural melody that's been a part of the desert landscape for thousands of years. It's a reminder of how awesome and mysterious our planet really is. So, if you ever find yourself in the Mojave Desert, keep an ear out for the singing sands. It's a natural concert. And the best part? The admission is free, and the performance is one of a kind. Imagine walking through a dry lake bed, known as the Racetrack Playa, in the heart of Death Valley, and you come across rocks, some as heavy as 700 pounds, that have left long trails behind them as if they've been moving. But here's the catch. No one has ever seen them move. 
For decades, these sailing stones have baffled scientists and visitors alike. How do they move across the desert floor without any human or animal intervention? First things first, let's break down the mystery. These rocks aren't picking themselves up and walking around. The movement is a perfect storm of specific natural conditions. Researchers have found that it all happens under the winter sun. Death Valley gets just enough rain to form a shallow layer of water in the racetrack playa. Then, as temperatures drop at night, this water freezes around the stones. Come daytime, the ice starts to melt under the warm sun. And here's where it gets interesting. If the conditions are just right, even a light breeze can push these ice-encased rocks across the slippery mud, leaving trails in their wake. For years, this theory was just that, a theory. But with the help of modern technology, scientists finally caught the stones in action. Time-lapse cameras and GPS trackers revealed that these stones can move as much as 15 feet per minute. That's right, these hefty rocks glide across the ground, pushed by the wind, and etch their journey into the desert floor. But don't let the scientific explanation fool you. Witnessing the aftermath of the sailing stones is nothing short of magical. One of the most colorful, unique, and downright amazing places you could ever visit, Salvation Mountain. Nestled in the lower desert of Southern California near the Salton Sea, this man-made mountain is a vibrant testament to one man's devotion and a wild burst of creativity that turned into a folk art masterpiece. So, what's the story behind Salvation Mountain? It all began with Leonard Knight. In the 1980s, Knight had a vision. He wanted to spread the message of God's love to the world. But instead of writing a book or giving speeches, Leonard decided to paint his message on the side of a hill. With nothing but adobe clay, donated paint, and a whole lot of dedication, he started what would become his life's work. Salvation Mountain is not your typical mountain. Standing about three stories high and spanning over 100 feet in width, it's covered from base to peak in bright, bold colors and biblical quotes. The most prominent message, God is love, can be seen from afar, painted in huge red letters. This place isn't just about one man's faith. It's a monument to passion and persistence. The mountain is made from adobe, straw, and thousands of gallons of paint. Over the years, Leonard added more layers, making the structure stronger and the messages more vibrant. He created intricate murals, flowers, trees, waterfalls, and even a yellow brick road that guides visitors through biblical quotes and scenes. What makes Salvation Mountain so special isn't just the art or the messages, it's the spirit of the place. Leonard Knight poured his heart and soul into this mountain, and you can feel it. It's become a pilgrimage site, not just for the religious, but for artists, dreamers, and anyone inspired by the power of one person's vision to create something beautiful for the world. Leonard passed away in 2014, but his mountain continues to stand, attracting visitors from all over the globe. It's maintained by a group of volunteers who share Leonard's vision of spreading love and joy. And the best part? Visiting Salvation Mountain is completely free, though donations are welcome to help preserve this incredible work of art. Finally, onto one of the coolest, most hidden gems in California, Bob's Crystal Cave. Now, this isn't your typical tourist spot, and that's what makes it all the more special. So, what's Bob's Crystal Cave, you ask? Imagine stepping into a small, underground world filled with sparkling crystals that light up the dark like a starry night. This cave, tucked away inside a man-made mine, is a secret wonderland that looks like something straight out of a fantasy novel. The story of Bob's Crystal Cave begins with a guy named Bob. Surprise, surprise who spent years digging through the earth on his property. What started as a quest for gold turned into the discovery of something much more magical. Instead of finding gold, Bob unearthed a cave glittering with selenite crystals. These crystals aren't just ordinary rocks, they're nature's artwork, with each crystal catching the light in ways that dazzle the eyes. Now, walking through Bob's crystal cave feels like stepping into another dimension. The walls glisten with crystals, and the air inside has a cool, mysterious vibe that's both calming and exhilarating. It's a place of natural beauty that shows just how amazing the world beneath our feet can be. What makes Bob's Crystal Cave even more incredible is its vibe of being a hidden treasure. Bob has kept the cave as natural and untouched as possible, 
There are no fancy lights or commercial tours here. Visiting is like being let in on a secret, one that Bob has been kind enough to share with the world. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing journeys into the weird and bizarre.